boy, oh boy, oh boy. So the illegals crossing the border has come to the door of the czar, the border czar, that is. Vice President Kamala Harris. The illegals have landed on her doorstep. On her doorstep. Can you believe it, friends? Can you believe it? Oh, I didn't know this would happen. But not just on her door, but they've sent them to Martha's Vineyard as well. Right in uh, Obama's backyard. Can you imagine it, friends? In Obama's backyard, he comes out, you know, to, to live the dream of being Obama and whatever Obama does in his life. And he walks out there and there there's people out there on the yard. There's people out there. Who are these people? Where do they come from? Who are they? Oh, God, can you imagine? But that's what's happening right now. It's very, very sad that the governors in Texas and the border states have to do this to open the eyes of the American people, to open the eyes of the public as to what's going on. They can't take it anymore in Texas. They can't take it anymore on those border states. And they says, you know what? You got sanctuary cities? You want sanctuary cities? Well, here it is. Here is your sanctuary city. Let's take a look at this video and see how that's going. Breaking news for you. Uh, this has been a busy morning already. We are going live to pictures from Washington, D.C. And the latest report is that there have been immigrants by bus dropped off at Vice President Kamala Harris's residence. This is just outside her home. Uh, you can see from these pictures, dozens, uh, I, I would say more than 100. I don't know if there are multiple hundreds of people outside on the lawn there, but not a small number of people uh, outside, not the White House, uh, but Vice President Harris's home address. Uh, you are looking live in Washington, D.C. Uh, this is the latest breaking news, uh, potentially uh, another contention between Governor Greg Abbott of Texas and the northeastern cities that he has deemed uh, a home for those who have crossed illegally into the country, getting the attention of the federal government. That's what he says his intentions are. Uh, to make sure that they know exactly what border towns along our border with Mexico are actually dealing with. The inundation of people, uh, a lack of resources. Uh, Washington, D.C.'s uh, Mayor Mariel Bowser has now asked for the federal government to step in. They have not taken any action yet, but Mitch, uh, this is certainly the sight to see uh, all of these people just standing around on the front yard of the Vice President of the United States. Say, say that one more time. This is the Naval Observatory there, and uh, that is the official residence of the Vice President. So Kamala Harris is living and working there, and uh, these immigrant buses have been dropped off right there. They've been put in her lap, essentially. It seems like this is a, an increasing, uh, increasingly aggressive campaign, not only from Governor Abbott, but you just heard Dre Clark's report about migrants being sent to Martha's Vineyard. Now, that's an island, so he's flying them from Florida on a plane to Martha's Vineyard. Now you have... Uh, immigrants being dropped off in front of the vice president's residence. The goal of these uh, border governors is to bring this issue home to people that don't usually have to deal with it. Governors Abbott in Texas, Ducey in Arizona, now DeSantis in Florida have been saying for months, this shouldn't be just our problem. And uh, in the last three, four months or so, they have decided it's not just going to be our problem. And you are seeing evidence of that uh, at the Naval Observatory, the residence of the vice president, Kamala Harris, right now. Like, thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find new. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, at least now they will pay attention to the problems that's happening at the border. I say they bring in more. I say they pack them all up and bring them directly to the border czar's home because she is the person who is supposed to be controlling this she's in charge of the border so you know what forget martha's vineyard yes yeah bring them to obama as well but take them to the border czar's land take them to the border czar's front door okay because you're the one 
who's not taking control of the border. If you were doing your job and taking control of the border, then maybe we wouldn't have this problem right now. So, VP Harris, it's time for you to get your game on, girl. It's time for you to get in there and handle your business. You're going to have to handle this. That's your business. Joe Biden ain't trying to handle this. He ain't trying to do this. You got to do this. It's at your door. It's at your back door, front door, side door. Every goddamn door. Entrance of your house. <laughs> You're going to have to fix it. You're going to have to acknowledge that we have a problem at the border. And you're going to have to deal with it. This is ridiculous. People are being, people are being brought into the country. There are being, millions of people are taking over the country. So I agree with the governors. I agree with the border governors. We, the American people, agree with the governors that you need to see this for yourself. They have been dealing with this ever since they removed the stay in Mexico policy where they have been dealing with this and it's too much. And you, you're only having a little bit. There's only a few, there's only a little bit there. Imagine. I'll plug in those videos, those um, pictures. New DeSantis land, home of the free, land of the brave t-shirt. We also have our capitalism and our socialism t-shirts. I'll plug in some pictures so you all can see everything that's been going on. You only got a couple of people on your on, on, on your front steps, girl. I, I'm, I'm sure you live in a mansion, you know. I'm sure you got room for the people. I'm sure you got room to bring them in, you know, and make them, uh, um, make them whatever special you make. Collard greens, black eyed peas, whatever you cook. You know, bring them in. Hey, friends, come on down. You're going to have dinner with the VP tonight. We're having dinner with, the, with Kamala tonight. It's ridiculous. And I hope that the message comes straight home because that's what it needs to do. You need to wake up and we need to secure the border. Pick up all of the DeSantis land merch that we have. We've got your flags, your yard signs, your magnets, everything that you need uh, to support Governor DeSantis in the general election in 2022.